Uh, I have to follow that. Wow. <laughs> Tear jerker from the start. Uh, anyway, my name is Scott Wilkinson. Uh, I live here in San Francisco with my partner, Billy Hutchinson, who's going to be my beer for the day, or whatever you want to call him, <laughs> <laughs> my co-facilitator. Uh, we wanted to uh, basically tell you welcome. Uh, welcome to San Francisco. We wanted to do something that would uh, let everybody know as fellow Mormons or ex-Mormons or recovering Mormons that uh, you know we think about you and we welcome you here. And I wanted to do that by having a postum station. So, <laughs> we, we don't have coffee out there, and so I am about ready to fall asleep because I am a bad Mormon now. But I got this, and if you can believe it, I had to go to three different Safeways. I logged on the internet. They don't make it anymore. <laughs> this is from my sister's pantry in River Heights, Utah. <laughs> And I'm not sure the age, so you're willing to try it, but it's kind of clumpy. Uh, I tried to buy some online, and you would not believe it. $115. Here is the Amazon ad. Last night, somebody had up to $150. So please don't steal this and try to sell on eBay. But since... Uh, since the postum thing didn't quite work out, because it's not quite enough for everybody here, uh, I decided to do something that would be kind of, you know, gay pride friendly, uh, gay, uh, gay pride flag friendly. So we got Mormon Jello shots. Yeah. <laughs> Jello shot and alcohol-free Jello shot. So basically, they're Jello cups. Uh, I did use Pam, and so I think there's like some alcohol in that, so they slide out easily. But anyway, uh, there might be a, a very small bit of alcohol. So just so you know. Now onto a serious topic now. Uh, last night, many of you were there at the march. I wanted to point out where is Robert? Is he in here? Robert, stand up. And then, uh, and then Eric with a C, where are you? <laughs> okay, for a, a performance last night that was absolutely excellent. And we had Channel 2, Channel 3. <laughs> the speakers were wonderful. Uh, I mean, I checked it. We saw, I saw three minute spots on at least three different networks. I know that at least four enough networks were there. So very good coverage. We got our message out, and I think we had at least 300 people there. So excellent job on behalf of all you folks. Uh, now on to what we're going to be doing, a very serious topic. Uh, as Dale pointed out, I mean, he had Sorry. Promise not to do this. <laughs> give, you, give your little speech a little bit. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's a difficult topic because we've all been there. Uh, both of us have been there, and we Twice. made it through. Twice. <laughs> Maybe just once, when I got kicked out of BYU, because uh, they found out that I was not exactly one of them, and uh, mm -hmm. I was not treated exactly with kid gloves. So, anyway, sorry, I, I know I'm not in the mic. Uh, so anyway, but I made it through, and my 94-year-old mother is backing us up. She is right there with us. I notice you have your mom here. You're not 94, I can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I hope you make it to 94 and you can be there with my mom to like, help your kids along. But uh, our, our uh, action group is going to be basically four parts. Uh, the initial part is going to be focused on youth and outreach to youth. <coughs> Bear Porter in the back is going to be uh, facilitating that. He's from the Trevor Project. And he has actually materials for those. It will be in other groups. There are materials out there, uh, so you can just pick those up at your leisure. We also will have them in our room. Um, Next, after uh, Barrett, we'll have David Paisley. David, you here? Yeah, Dave. So he is from San Francisco Suicide Prevention. He will focus mainly on adult issues, uh, mental health issues, transitioning, because it is something that we all have to fight uh, if you have a very rough road to cross. So we're going to hit those issues with Dave. Uh, and then we will be breaking out at lunch and showing an excerpt of a very difficult movie that's made the news. The bridge will have an excerpt from the middle, which actually addresses issues with family, friends, those who are left behind for people who actually make that decision. 
So it's a tough movie to watch. Uh, if you can't watch it, we understand. So that's when we can actually take lunch. You can take lunch outside. We'll reconvene at about 12.30, and we'll have a panel discussion, excuse me, with Dave, are you here? Dave Tunquist? <coughs> the two yet. Joes? <laughs> okay, I got one Joe from Hawaii, uh, the, uh, the author of our book. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Perfect. Perfect, Perfect. thank you, perfect. Uh, and so we'll have the two Joes, Joe Magellan, Billy and myself, and we'll actually discuss the Mormon-specific issues regarding suicide. Uh, you know, the doctrine, uh, the way the church has treated gay and lesbian folks, and uh, we'll be able to take questions then. So, if you have any specific questions, ask us at the session. Otherwise, thank you very much for your time, and uh, enjoy the conference. We're in the city.